All right, and moving on, the Kenya government, headed by President William Ruto, has extended its deal with three Saudi Arabia companies for one year. In a sit-down on Monday, Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, IPRA Director General Daniel Kipto, noted that the new agreement allows the three companies to supply the oil products on credit until December 2024. Sandra Kitamani reports. Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, has challenged the legislators to unite in seeking solutions to the high cost of living instead of criticizing the government. The cost of living in Kenya requires a well-organized and focused legislative agenda in the National Assembly. Collaboration among the National Assembly leadership offices, including the majority and minority leaders, is crucial to effectively marshal this agenda in a bipartisan approach. Speaking in Mombasa County during the House leadership and the committee chairperson's retreat, Wetangula said, blame game will not lift the country out of the current crisis. Our nation faces formidable challenges, but they are not insurmountable. By standing united, we can lessen the burden on Kenyans. Wetangula spoke after the government extended the fuel supply deal with the governments of Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates for another 12 months. Fuel marketers all the people in that space, they will be able to buy our products, fuel products, in Kenya shillings. And it will remove pressure on our dollars. In fact, in the next one month or so, you will see dollars coming down, the, uh, the, the exchange rate coming down in a very phenomenal way. In fact, in my estimation, in the next couple of months, the dollars will come, the exchange rate will come below 120 shillings. The Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority says this extension will help ease the burden of payments associated. The arrangement is an intervention to the dollar shortage that had crippled the economy. Mad for the dollar will come down and the shilling will gain and we don't want Kenyans to lose money. So those who have been holding dollars everywhere, hoping that it will continue going up, it will go down, starting today, tomorrow, the day after. So you have a few dollars that you are still holding, please. Let them go to the market. In March this year, the government inked a deal with Gulf-based petroleum giants, Saudi Aramco and the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company for supply of petroleum product on credit. We went in, into negotiation with different governments who participated and we have closed and signed the deal with Aramco of Saudi for supply of two products, two AGO cargos every month uh, for a period of six months. So we have a contract for 270 days and we did close a deal for supply of PMS which is super with Enoch. Enoch is the Dubai based company for three cargos every month for the next six months. Uh, contract and we've signed those contracts uh, as of Friday. The International Monetary Fund estimates monthly payment obligations associated with the government-to-government -government deal at $700 million or just about 103 billion shillings. It will remove pressure on our dollars. In fact, in the next one month or so, you will see dollars coming down the, uh, the, the exchange rate coming down in a very phenomenal way. In fact, in my estimation, in the next couple of months, the dollars will come, the exchange rate will come below 120. The current deal, which expires in December, has failed to stabilize palm prices and prevent the shilling from further depreciation, exposing an already overburdened public to more shock. And the shilling will gain, and we don't want Kenyans to lose money. So those who have been holding dollars everywhere, hoping that it will continue going up, it will go down, starting today, tomorrow, the day after. After a long deliberation by the cabinet on whether or not to continue with the government-to-government -government oil importation deal, the Kenya government has finally settled on extending the arrangement. In the various other sectors of the economy, which needs... Uh, 
which where we operate on uh, export or uh, import market rather to ensure that the economy is performing not because petroleum is sucking every month 500 million dollar uh, but that that amount will now be available to ensure that the rest of the economy uh, is not stuffed of these dollars. Under the new deal, the government successfully renegotiated the freight and premium cost, which will now see diesel landing into Kenya at 88 shillings down from the current cost of 118 shillings, petrol from 97 shillings and 5 cents per freight to 90 shillings, and kerosene from 140 shillings to 111 shillings and 7 cents. While this will translate an ease at the pump, a lot will depend on other factors including global crude oil practices and foreign exchange rate fuel marketers and all the people in that space they will be able to buy our products fuel products in Kenya shillings Biled as an easy immediate fix to Kenya's costly fuel the government's current arrangement with the three Gulf oil firms has failed to achieve the set targets the product will henceforth be paid on Kenya shilling will not be paying on the US dollar which basically will relieve the pressure on the dollar to ensure that those dollars are available for the rest of the industry in manufacturing. In ditching the open tender system, the government had two overwhelming priorities, the economies of scale in order to bring down the cost of fuel and manage the forex. In the various other sectors of the economy, which needs, um, which where we operate on uh, export or uh, import market rather, to ensure that the economy is performing. But the irony still is that both goals have not yet been attained. The price of fuel is sky high and the shilling continues to weaken against the dollar. On our dollars. In fact, in the next one month or so, you will see dollars coming down, the, uh, the, the exchange rate coming down in a very phenomenal way. In fact, in my estimation, in the next couple of months, the dollars will come, the exchange rate will come below 120 shillings. Mad for the dollar will come down and the shilling will gain and we don't want Kenyans to lose money. And with the program failing to have intended consequence, the price of petroleum products have surged alarmingly, putting the government under the spotlight over the deal. <laughs> This comes after fears for matatus. Many buses used for transport by a large majority of Kenyans will be going up too, with the Matatu Owners Association announcing a 20% increase nationwide. Na kama chama tumeamua kuwa tutaongeza mafuta na percentage ya 20% kwa sababu tuko kwa biashara na kila mara vitu zikiongeza inabidi tusukume kwa consumer na sio kwa kupenda kwetu. For Maisha Prime Maisha Television, my name is Sandra Kidamani.